Hi guys, I'm Sean. This is Alyssa. Gus is in our hearts. hearts. And this, this is Internet, Internet Rabbit Hole Daily. Daily. Uh, <laughs> All right, folks. The other day I was thinking and I had a question pop up in my mind. It was, why are so many CEOs from India? And then I stumbled across this video, which contains the answer. That uh, actually happened. Eh, maybe I might have just kind of said that. For Actually, I have sort of wondered before because, for example, I know that the CEO of Google is, is from India. Oh. And um, I have seen other Indians, too, in, in, in prominent positions. Um, now, I guess I just don't pay hmm. attention enough. Like, I don't know who the CEOs are in general yeah, yeah. of the companies, really. Uh, so. I'll put it this way. I've certainly noticed that there's a lot of uh, Indians in powerful positions in the tech world in the West. Um, and I guess uh, we're going to learn a little bit more why that's the case. Um, I'm thinking because they're so smart. Uh, they're industrious. Uh, I don't know. What what else is... Uh, oh, let's have to watch this. And this is from News Think. Ah, thank you, News Think. Okay. Google, Adobe, Microsoft, and IBM are all run by people wow. who grew up in India. The latest to join these ranks is Twitter CEO yes. Parag yep. Agrawal. So I knew about those two, Twitter oh, and he, Google. He's the new people Twitter originally CEO. from India make up 1% of the total U.S. population, yet about 6% of Silicon Valley's workforce. So why are there so many tech CEOs who wow. hail from India? When Satya Nadella took over as CEO of Microsoft I know that guy's name, so I did know that The too. company was in bad shape. Bill Gates was reportedly an angry and difficult <laughs> boss. His successor, Steve Ballmer, apparently wasn't any better. Microsoft was also a dinosaur. Gotta love Steve Ballmer. It had failed to innovate. For example, it lost the smartphone battle to Apple. Along comes Nadella, an engineer who rose through the oh, ranks man. of Microsoft. I, got, I just gotta mention, there was, when Microsoft came out with their phone, they were so confident that they were going to uh, outsell the iPhone that mm -hmm. they held a funeral for the iPhone. And what? so they had this funny little thing where, you know, the Microsoft execs and stuff were, you know, uh, participating in this iPhone funeral. And Actually, obviously, wow. <laughs> a little bit what? embarrassing, did not age well. <laughs> to become the CEO. Nadella changed the culture of the company. He made it clear anger and yelling weren't welcome. He also sought to make Microsoft relevant. We now need to make Microsoft thrive in a mobile first and a cloud first okay, world. Just pause it for a second. Under his direction. Because Bill Gates was like the CEO mm -hmm. for so lo and long. And then Steve like Ballmer and the then but uh, he, this fella. So he's just, he has someone else be CEO because he was just like an angry. Well, you know, just because somebody Ugh, founds a, a company doesn't He's mean so that they're going to always be CEO, right? So. Microsoft moved its software to non-Windows devices and expanded its cloud business, Azure. That innovative spirit of problem solving was bred in his native country. India is home to nearly 1.4 billion people. It's the second most populous country on earth after China and is expected to overtake China as the most populous oh. country in a few years. Oh. Although India has made remarkable progress, poverty is still a major challenge. Nearly a quarter of the population lives below the poverty line of $1.90 a day, according to the United Nations Development Program. They face corruption, poor infrastructure, and limited opportunities. So they learn to be resilient, adapt, and overcome endless obstacles. This leads them to be problem solvers, a key asset in any corporation. Sundar Pichai has had to solve many problems after taking over at the helm of Google in 2015, at a time when big tech is being scrutinized over the power they hold. He became the archetype of a kinder, calmer, gentler leader in tech. Pachai earned an engineering degree at one of the Indian Institutes of Technology. The IITs are kind of like the Indian equivalent of MIT, wow. with an even lower wow. acceptance rate. Even more intense of one or two percent. After Pachai graduated, his ticket to America came in the form of a master's at Stanford. Uh -huh. Going to a top grad school in the States is how many Indians land up in the land uh, of opportunity. Yeah, through like a... Because it is hard to get path. into the States. They did their undergrad at a great school mm -hmm. in India, got a master's in the U.S., where they studied STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. More than half of all international students in America pursued a STEM degree in the past academic year. American immigration favors people with specialized skills. After Pachai graduated, he went on an H-1B visa to work at consulting firm McKinsey. The H-1B allows American companies to employ foreign workers, many of whom are in IT-related fields. 
The U.S. government awarded nearly 75% of these visas Whoa. to Indians in 2020. Wow. In comparison, <laughs> China trailed far behind in second at 12%. That's, that is so the significant. The fact that so many Indians can speak English is a tremendous advantage yeah. in the West, and they're comfortable with American business culture, possibly because it mirrors the thriving IT industry back home in Bangalore, Chennai, and Hyderabad. They're also more likely to want to work overseas. 80% uh -huh. of Chinese international students return to China after graduating, 80%? according to China's Ministry know. of Education. Chinese entrepreneurs prefer starting their own companies at home. Alibaba is known as the Amazon of China. Tencent owns the messaging app WeChat, used by 1.2 billion people. Huawei is one of the giants of the tech industry. Mm. China's transition from a manufacturing hub to a tech hotbed has largely been driven by government policy. In the late 70s, Chinese leader Deng Xiaoping encouraged foreign businesses to set up offices in China, which fostered a startup environment. On the other hand, India has a problem of too much talent uh, leaving the country for good. Mm. Talent it has the highest of number of migrants living abroad at 17 and a half million, according to the UN. Whoa. And more Indians gave up their passports to become naturalized American citizens in 2020 than the Chinese, continuing the trend from past years. However, the brain drain from India may be starting to recede. An increasing number of homegrown Indian startups are becoming unicorns, meaning the companies are valued at one billion or more. Wow. The data platform Traction tells NewsThink, India created 47 unicorns in 2021, a significant jump from the 17 in 2020, wow. and even less in years past. The tech ecosystem is being bolstered by powerful investment firms such as SoftBank, that have been pumping money into Indian startups. But in order to entice more people to remain in their native country, salaries will have to catch up with those in the West. The average American mm. tech worker earns around $98,000 a year, yeah. according to the mm. online recruiting platform. Because if Dice. you can't pay them well, they're going to go where the salary is. Greatly, they're going to go the where the job indeed is. indeed pegs the median salary at $20,000 US, going up to as much as $33,000, which makes them some of the top earners in their country but still far less than what they'd make in the States. No. As salaries grow along with India's startup boom, this could have implications for the number of exceptional individuals desiring to move abroad. The one thing that the CEOs of tech giants have in common is their strong background in engineering. If you wanted to improve your STEM skills, my sponsor uh, Brilliant can help you achieve What a smooth your goals. transition. Well Brilliant done. Is a website uh, and app that lets channel. you tackle <laughs> math, science, and computer science concepts uh, in a fun chess. and hands-on way. You can develop your critical thinking skills through their recently updated logic. That's why there's so many the uh, CEOs uh, from India. They're all using the software right to, to uh, get them, their IQs up. And, uh, master algebra, logic, and number theory. There's something for everyone, whether it's the foundations of computer science or learning about cryptocurrency. If it's free, if I'll check it out. Yeah. Incorrect but answer. I don't you think can it read is. the explanation to see where you went wrong. I'm already brilliant. Is free Do to I need an app to tell me so? <laughs> Actually, that'd be good. <laughs> get it on paper. Get it right. News thing. Free to and sign up. the first 200 of you to sign up with my link will receive 20% uh -huh. off Brilliant's uh -huh. annual premium subscription, which unlocks all of the courses. Thanks for watching. For News Thing, uh -huh. I'm Cindy oh, Palm. Well, thank you, Cindy. <laughs> that was uh, Cindy. news think. Um, and uh, geez, it seems like India is pumping out a lot of really smart people. Uh, and then from what they're saying is, uh, you know, they can't get the same wages in India. So they're making their way over to uh, the States, uh, making their way over to the West, Canada. And it seems to be like the, the work ethic or the mentality just sort of like fits the mindset of CEO and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. So. And, and sort of that spirit of uh, ingenuity, I guess, uh, is one of the things that we're talking about. Being able to innovate and to uh, improve mm -hmm. things. Um, Resilience and yeah. overcoming Jeez. And, and And to come from, from India and uh, from, from relatively humble beginnings, from what I can tell, and then to become the CEO of Google. Uh, it's Whoa. like, holy hell, what a... Yeah, where do you start? What an ascent. Um, or a lot of people have... They do have schooling degrees in India. And oh, then yeah. 
maybe they don't have to work their way up as much or like the business world, the tech world they were saying in India is like similar to the States. Well, you know, and, and they were, but they were also alluding to an even more competitive environment in India. Um, they were saying right. that their school actually had a higher um, sort of uh, fail rate than MIT, or, or at least in terms of uh, it was that hardly anyone can get in basically. Mm. Um, and so, wow, we got a bunch of people working hard, all sort of, jockeying for the same position and then uh, they're getting some success over here in the west as well as in india as well too i think india's got a bit of an up road uh hill to climb in order to offer that sort of parity with the um w with the salary right mm -hmm. um so it'll be interesting to see how that evolves um i can certainly feel sort of the the pain of of you know developing your own folks and then sending them off to another country to work and uh you know, practice their, uh, their crafts. So, um, yeah, there you go. We know a little bit there more about go. India. We know a little bit more about why there's so many CEOs. Uh, maybe we should, uh, look into some of the details there. I was wondering like, mm -hmm. how does a guy come from anywhere and become a CEO of, of Google? I'm curious to know. Um, maybe we can find out a little bit more about some of these CEOs, like the head of Twitter, the head of, uh, uh, Google there. Um, yeah. If they have good work experience too, they're like maybe they were a CEO in India already and yeah. their English is very good and it's yeah, I like don't a know. smooth transition. I, I just always wonder how anyone, like I said, gets into these positions. How do you become the top guy right. of Microsoft? Like usually like, how does that happen? Yeah, like you'd have to work within Microsoft at least at some other job title yeah. for quite a bit or you'd think to then become the CEO. To hand over the but reins. But some people are just like directly hired as say managers at a lot yeah. of places. Like they don't even do anything Gosh. else first with the company. They're just like hired as the manager all of a sudden. But CEO is a little bit more intense, obviously. A lot like of a responsibility. Big, yeah, a lot of influence, a lot of ability to make things go wrong if you aren't doing things right. So um, a lot of trust has been placed in these mm -hmm. individuals. Um, I'm curious and to know a little bit more about their individual stories. And uh, maybe you've got some suggestions. You can put them down there. Uh, maybe you want to click the like button and, you know, uh, what else? Subscribe, all that good all stuff. All things. Love you guys. This is Internet Rabbit Hole Daily. All right, signing off. Bye. Bye, guys.